Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. You'll have to bear with me. I am super sick, but I have three videos that I really want to film today. And so, and I felt well enough to actually get in the shower, although not to dry my hair. This is just my hair drying in its natural glory. So my first video I'm going to film today although hopefully I post all three, uh, is what I packed with me to Chicago. Me and my husband this weekend for our upcoming sixth wedding anniversary decided to go to Chicago for two nights, stay in a really nice hotel, which I'm inserting pictures now hopefully of a few of pictures from our trip, but uh, we stayed in the Hotel Monaco by Kipton or Kimpton. Um, it was literally the best hotel experience of my life and I've traveled all over quite a bit of the world, um, but they A allow puppies, so there was dogs all over the place, which made me so happy, um, and it was beautiful. What else did we do? We went to the zoo, they have a free zoo in Chicago, which was amazing, um, and I really liked that the animals had an indoor and an outdoor enclosure, uh, they looked like they were treated pretty well. Um, we went to the Art Institute, or Institute of Art, and we saw some really cool, cool, uh, cool art like American Gothic and that one that's all like stipply with the people in the park. So we had a, and we ate a lot of really good food. We went to a dueling piano bar called Howling at the Moon or how, yeah, I think it's called Howling at the Moon. Uh, and then we went to a great blues bar called Buddy Guys uh, and ate a lot of American sized food. Your portions, people are huge. So anyways, what I packed with me on vacation, I literally just went for two nights. And I packed it mostly all in this, um, it's upside down right now, uh, 31 bag that opens up and you go like this and you're going to be like, Kim, that's a lot of makeup. But for me, it's just a drop in the bucket. Uh, so I'm going to pull out what I got and then I'm going to tell you if I, or what I brought. No, I didn't buy anything. Actually, only my husband bought something on this trip and whether or not I actually used it. So I'm just going to start. There's going to be no rhyme or reason. And it's just going to help me put away my makeup. So I bought this little travel pack of Neutrogena makeup wipes. This is all I used to remove my makeup off at night because I knew that there'd be a lot of alcohol involved and this is just the easiest way. And they were great. Shave my legs. I used this uh, Chic Hydro Razors. I got this in um, a top box or a Nipsey and this was a great razor. I was actually surprised. I brought but did not use the nail polish I was wearing, which is Essie's Demure Vix, which is this like taupey, it's peeled off this baby finger, but it's like a taupey color with a purple reflect and I brought the top coat, but it did ship while I was gone. I also got Advil, because that's important. I did not use this body moisturizer, but I thought I might be responsible and moisturize. This is the La Ossetan Cream Comfort Ultra Rich. I actually don't even know if this is a face or a body moisturizer, but it looked like a body one to me. <clears throat> for my face, I use this little hope in a jar. If you watch my empties video, you'll realize that this is one of my favorites and my skin loves it. So I save that for travel. I brought tweezers, um, just in case some things got awry. Uh, four of the lip products. Oh, I bought this Shiseido Power Infusing Concentrate. Did not use this. Um, I was lucky I washed my face at night, let alone moisturizing. Uh, for some of the lip products I got, I got this in my Ipsy and I freaking love it. It's a Hanalea lip treatment. Um, no idea how to say that, but I really, really liked this. I brought, who is this by? It's by Revlon and it's Peony. It's just one of their lip glosses. And then I brought a matte nude stick in Belle. Um, and this Sephora lip gloss. I've rubbed off the name of the color. I think it's Angel something or Earth Angel. Uh, I love this lip gloss. It doesn't burn my lips. Okay, next compartment. Mostly I've stuffed my makeup brushes in here. There's some other escapees. So my Sephora blush angle brush. I brought this little Benefit Bare, Bare Minerals brush that came with one of those like Bare Minerals, you know the powder foundation kits? Um, I brought this as both my powder and my bronzer brush and uh, it's a good choice. My Sephora Con Pro Contour, this brush is life. If I ever lose it, I will replace it. Oh, I brought a pretty necklace. I only brought a pretty necklace and one pair of earrings. Uh, trying to keep things simple, but they're my Henry Bendel. The camera's never gonna focus on this, but they're so cute. They have like a little gold. They look almost like a nail head. <coughs> oh, and I'm dying. Um, I brought makeup brushes. So I brought like a fluffy brush, one of those um, Urban Decay dual ended brushes. I brought my favorite pencil brush by Quo. 
Oh, I brought the bigger bare minerals. So apparently I use this for powder and the other one for bronzer or whatever I grabbed. My dual ended foundation brush by a cosmetics that I love. I actually have a backup of this. Uh, this I got in my most recent Ipsy and I love it. I actually need to keep it aside for that. And it's by, it's an eye fluff by Inspur, but it's a really great eyeshadow brush. I brought my MAC 224 and my MAC 217. I brought a little eyebrow spoolie. I brought both medium brown and taupe uh, Anastasia eyebrow prints or brow whizzes. Oh, two more lip products. I bought this Bite little mini lip gloss in Coco. Did not use this. And another thing I'm really sad I didn't use is I brought my favorite purple lipstick, which is um, Up the Amp by MAC, and I didn't use this. I kept my makeup really simple. My L'Oreal Magic Lumi uh, highlight for uh, my bra, brow, it's not my bra, I don't need to highlight my bra. Uh, didn't use this, I don't think. I kept stuff so simple. Uh, and then my Kat Von D tattoo liner. Next compartment. I brought two eyeshadow palettes. I bought, brought, hey, drinking game. Every time I say I brought, take a shot. You'll be hammered. Uh, this is the new Dude by the Bomb eyeshadow palette. I chose to bring this because I don't use it very often and it's good. Like, it just doesn't really excite me, but I thought it had good colors for a weekend away. And then for some bizarre reason, I brought this little Tartlet Tease, mostly because I love that color right there. Like, it's just, it's a sparkly taupe and I kind of love it. Yeah, so. I did, during the day, I kept my eyes really neutral with just a little bit of mascara and then I would wash my face because we'd be, I'd be covered in sunscreen and sweaty and gross so we'd go back to the hotel, I'd have a little rinse off and then I'd get ready for dinner. The Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara is what I brought and I also brought this eyeshadow curler, I forget who this is by, oh it says on there, I don't know, it's a black and red eyeshadow, it works, it curls. My Hourglass Dim Light Ambient Setting Powder. I use this to set underneath my eyes every day of life. Um, I will for sure replace this if I ever run it. Uh, Mineralized Skin Finish. I chose this because it gives like a luminous feel. I wanted makeup that wears off well because I knew it was going to be really, really hot out. For my highlighter, I bought the Body Brown uh, Pink Glow because it has such a like beautiful sparkle to it. I really like it. I think it looks really, really pretty on my face. Can you see that? I brought but did not use the ColourPop Dope Taupe Eyeliner Pencil. I brought a lot. The one that I did use pretty much the whole time was the It Cosmetics Brow Power. This is one of my favorite, like, quick and easy eyebrow pencils because it's a little bit stiffer, but it goes on smoothly. These guys are just a little bit, the ColourPop, a little bit too creamy for me. Um... I didn't bring this, this just somehow escaped into there. Uh, my Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion, that's almost empty. I'm getting really proud of myself using this up. I brought this little Sonia Kashuk Detail Brush. It's a number 105, quite like this brush, so I'm making such a mess. For my bronzer, we have the NARS Laguna little, like, tiny sample doohickey that's too cute for words, but this was really great for contouring and bronzing. I chose this because it was a little bit warmer and then also because it was so small. Um, for blush, I brought a sample that I have of Bella Bamba by uh, Benefit. Um, I was like, why don't I use this? It's such a beautiful color, but it's not very pigmented. So I found I didn't reach for this as much as I re reached for the Stila Custom Color Blush in Self-Adjusting Coral. Again, this does not self-adjust at all, but it's a really pretty color on me. Gives a lot of life to my cheeks, which when I was wearing such minimal eye makeup, I felt like I needed. Oh, we're getting to the end of the pile. For foundation, I use my L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Um, I love this stuff. It was great because it wears well in the heat. I really like to think about how makeup wears off because it's as much as we want our makeup to last 18 hours, it just doesn't. For my lip colors, mostly what I did is I used these two Essence lip liners, one in cute pink and one in Wish Me a Rose, although I wish I brought in my sharpener because like, I got these down to the very, very nubs, um, but um, I would do these and then put that lip treatment over top for daytime and it was just easy. It didn't look silly when it wore off. Um, 
I brought my Benefit Gimme Brow, which is one of my favorite things, and it's almost out, but I want to wait, Benefit released new packaging, so I want to wait until I can get the new packaging to replace this, which I know sounds stupid because I don't like the formula of the product change, but whatever. I brought the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer. I think I used this once. Um, I'm really bad with primer. Uh, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind during the day, I would put this like all over my face and just put some mineralized skin finish um, over top and call it a day. Um, I also brought the MAC Pro Longwear. I do the same thing with this on days I don't really care. And then the day we went to the zoo, I wore this little Bobbi Brown um, BB Cream with SPF 35 because I didn't want my face to burn. Um, so that's the thing that was in the makeup bag. Now, of course, I couldn't fit it all because I'm like that. So in this other bag, oh, this is getting dirty. Why do they make white packaging? Uh, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Of course, I brought this, especially walking around outside in the heat. This is great. Um, I brought, oh, this Umbrella 30 Sports Fast Drying Sunscreen. I really, really recommend this. We brought this to the zoo so that I could like just continue to like, spray myself in it. For my hair, I brought the Living Proof 501 Hair Styling Treatment. It's probably why my hair is going fuzzy today because I didn't use it. I bought this little sample of Tresemme hairspray and we used this. Um, that's my husband's face cream. For a shampoo, I bought these little precious little Dove things. Uh, for drugstore shampoo, Dove works the best on my hair. For like cheaper drugstore shampoo. Then we got like toothpaste, mouthwash. And then of course, because who doesn't do this, but I stole all the products from the hotel, the minis but they smell, this is body lotion. They smell so good. This is Kadota Fig, and then it's like Mandarin Citrus, and Geranium, and Oolong Tea. So like, the hotel was really cute, and I stole the face. And then here is just, I put some of my face wash. So that's what I brought with me on vacation. It worked really early. I could have <clears throat> brought less. So if I were to pack again, I wouldn't bother with this little tartlet teas. I would only bring this eyebrow pencil. I did not need four eyebrow pencils. That's ridiculous. I would just bring one lip gloss. Like I thought I was paring this down to very little makeup. I could have skipped this blush. Um, I could have brought just one of these concealers. So I would pick the MAC Prolong. Um, I didn't need to bring this. So there, I could have brought a hat, like I, for my next weekend away, um, will definitely bring even less makeup. Um, just cause you don't need to lug that around. Like I took off, I couldn't even fold that bag. Um, and I just don't want to be that high maintenance when I go away. I don't want to spend my whole vacation putting on heaps and heaps and heaps of makeup. I actually want to spend time with my husband and travel such a great city. If you haven't been to Chicago, I recommend it. It's amazing. So I hope you guys like this video and see what I brought. And then the next time I go away for the weekend, I plan on doing another video and we can see um, how I pare it down and what I bring that's less and what I, I actually didn't really feel like I was missing anything. So thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear below like what you bring um, on a trip. Like this is probably more than most people's full makeup collection, but I have hoarding problems. So the hoarding family, uh, which is why I'm going to refer you guys to my little hoarders, um, please comment below and let me know what you bring on vacation, like what your must have is. Um, and if you wear like a full face the whole time, I certainly didn't. I just put enough on so that I didn't look dead. Um, and then at night I put on more, but even that just because of all the walking we did, like we didn't even buy it. We only took the bus once. Outside of that, we just walked a lot. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye.